This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, June 15th. S&P and NASDAQ futures hit annual highs yesterday due to the larger-than-expected decline in the U.S. producer price index. However, much of the gains were given back later in the day as a result of the Federal Open Market Committee's hawkish pause at its policy meeting. The Fed did keep its Fed funds rate unchanged at five to five and a quarter, and that was in line with expectations, but warned that a further tightening would be necessary. In fact, the Fed indicated that there are two more 25 basis point rate hikes likely this year. However, financial futures markets are saying that the Fed can only hike one more time. Economic reports were mixed with jobless claims coming in more than expected. Also, we had uh, retail sales here in the U.S. also coming in a bit stronger than anticipated. Overall, though, stock index futures performing very well for the news, suggesting that we may see some follow-through strength. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index very much underperforming the news as of late, especially the hawkish pause only uh, temporarily supported the dollar index, and the dollar index now coming under some pressure uh, this morning. We did have the European Central Bank at its policy meeting today, raising rates by 25 basis points as expected. And the Bank of Japan will hold its policy meeting tomorrow. Most likely, the BOJ will keep policies unchanged. And in the interest rate futures markets, futures were lower earlier today, but now coming back to higher traders now anticipating that there is a 74% probability that the Fed will hike by another 25 basis points at the July 26th meeting with a 26% probability that the Fed will keep rates unchanged. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.